Welcome, Crusader. I have long foreseen your arrival here today, and sense that you have an important role in events to come. Greetings and salutations, sir viewers. Thank you for joining me, Sir Burslack, for the seventh installment of Knights of the Nine Revelation. Alright, let's take a look at this place and see what's around, shall we? Okay, so that belongs to somebody. Welcome. Feel free to browse through my wares. Oh, so you even use the custom voices on the shop NPCs. That's good. That's original. You could have just easily stuck a vanilla voice onto that shopkeeper and Goodbye, you know, Sir Knight. been done with it. The rest of this area looks like just a camp. What say you, good captain? Queen Alessia is the heroine of all humans. She will surely lead us to victory. Surely. Oh. Open stone. It's a crime to pick that up. Welcome. Feel free to browse through my wares. I will do just that. got in the spell department. Well, there's some useful spells. Moonlight. Definitely pick that up. Oh, restore all attributes. That's definitely a must-have. Oh, I thought I already had water breathing. I guess not. We'll pick it up while I'm here. Hmm. Goodbye, Sir Knight. Farewell. Gate is open elsewhere. Oh, I see. I, that's kind of cool. I've got the guards opening the gate for you. Hmm. So you're the one they call the Divine Crusader a few thousand years from now, eh? You dug my armor out of the ground and then fought Umaril in a dream. That doesn't make you a hero in my book. Queen Alicia? She is known as the Slave Queen, for she rose above her humble roots as a slave to lead the rebellion that would overthrow the Aeliad Empire. Never in my travels have I met a mortal who displayed such wisdom or was so attuned to the gods. She has forged alliances with the rebel Aeliad kings, the Needs, the Bretons, and even the gods themselves. With her unbroken string of victories against the elves, the fall of the Tower of White Gold is only a matter of time. Restore the Crusader's relics? You want to repair my armor and weapons after they've been buried in the ground for a few thousand years and then burned by magic fire? 
I hope you have plenty of time. The technology to repair them won't be available for a few thousand years. And even if you found a way to repair them, these armor and weapons were blessed by the Eight, and they only bother with a worthy hero like me. Blessed by the Eight? Ha 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 ha! If you can somehow repair the relics, and are deluded enough to try talking to the gods, then be my guest. You'll find the Shrine of the Eight, hidden behind a waterfall west of Sard, and there you can pray to your heart's content. But I can tell you now that they are not fond of silly little mortals with delusions of grandeur. Don't blame me if they ignore you, or worse, strike you down with a bolt of lightning for your belligerence. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Well, I read he was kind of an asshole. <laughs> well, I got a quest update. Let's uh, take a quick look at that. You can reconsecrate the. Crusaders relics at the Shrine of the Eight, but first I have to get them reforged. Okay, that one's slave brain. I found Naomi at Fanica Sickle. She was catapulted 4,000 years into the path like I was when Garrus' portal imploded. She says that I should talk to Alicia, Pelinol, and Mori House. Okay. Welcome, Crusader. I have long foreseen your arrival here today, and sense that you have an important role in events to come. Foreseen my arrival? Yes. As a slave, I prayed to the Aedra for liberation from the aliens. My prayers were answered in the form of three visions of things to come. The third vision was a harbinger, Palinul's arrival. While this has come to pass, part of the vision has long perplexed me. For in the vision, Pelinol's every action was shadowed by a mortal clad in the same armor, something I thought impossible. Yet, with your rediscovery of Pelinol's artifacts in a future era, and your arrival here today, my understanding of the third vision is now complete. My role? I sense that you will play an important role in future events, but before you can, you must restore that which grants you powers from the Eight. Only by recovering, repairing, and then reconsecrating the artifacts that you call the Crusader's relics, can you hope to succeed. Crusader's relics? You are in possession of all eight of the Crusader's relics. Yet... They are damaged beyond use, and are tainted by Daedric magic. You must seek the aid of both Mori House and Pelinor to ensure they are repaired and reconsecrated. Freed slaves? The Aeliads have enslaved our kind for too long. We are freeing slaves across Syrod, and they in turn are bolstering our numbers. For every slave that you free, we will pay you a reward of 200 gold. All right, freed slaves. For freeing the slaves, you have our gratitude. As promised, here is your reward. Oh, it's nice that it calculates all of them at once. May the eight guide your way. Greetings, Lord Crusader. I have heard much about you from your friend. Naomi, it is both an honor and a marvel to receive a visitor from another era. Morehouse? I am Morehouse, the first breath of man. I was granted the Nordic powers of the Um by Kynareth, and sent here to aid in the liberation of humanity. 
Crusader's relics? Kalinal is always boasting that his armor and weapons are from the future and can't be recreated. Yet I know that he traveled extensively with a talented blacksmith named Vulcanus who maintained his armor. It will be worth your while to talk to him. As for reconsecrating them, you'll have to ask Pelinol about that. Vulcanus? He wants to stay far away from adventuring nowadays. But last I heard, he had settled down in Cersen. He'll probably send you on a quest for some exotic raw materials first before he'll help. Queen Alicia? She is known by many names. She was named Alesh by her followers, and this led to the more familiar corruptions Alashut, Esha, and Alessia. Another title was Paravant, meaning first of its kind. From that, the names Paraval, Pevish, Parathu, and Perif were derived. But as her lover and consort, I knew her as Paravanya, First Empress, Lady of Heaven, and Queen Utsirod. Alright, thanks for your help. Farewell, Lord Crusader. Farewell. Alright, that needs a key. What do you have to say, soldier? They say that Aurorans are fused to their armor, which is why it can't be removed. Okay. It's nice that the NPCs spread around this area all have different things to say. That was a nice touch. Lord Crusader, are you heading off? Yes, to restore the Crusader's relics. So they know of a way to repair them? That's great! Queen Alicia has asked me to study the Adabal, so I'll be here in Fanica Sekul if you need anything. Adabal? Yes, the Adabal, meaning Godstone in the Aelid language. They are Aelid soul gems of great power. You see the red diamond that Queen Alicia is wearing around her neck? That's actually Chimel Adabal, the godstone that eventually became the Amulet of Kings, as worn by Uriel Septim. It turns out that there's two others just like it, and I've been given the chance to study them. Hmm. See you. Goodbye. Let's check out the tent real fast. Alright, so you got some place to sleep, some place to store your junk, a few useful potions, Naomi stuff, Amulet of Kings, and the Adawal. Alright, let's check the map real quick. Looks like we've uh, explored this area. There's a blacksmith called Vulcanus living in Cersein who may have the means to repair the Crusader's relics. Okay, so if I remember right, that, that particular city is at the base of the road that, that will go up to Bruma. <laughs> Would, I would fat well there's no I can't fast travel there but I usually wouldn't record the journey there but the terrain has has the potential to be so different from what we're used to that I think I will actually re actually record the journey all the way there 
But I probably won't be able to make it all in this episode. We're almost out of time. There's not even a bridge over to the island. At least not over here. Interesting. What do they do? Ferry people back and forth? That's strange. I mean, there's supposed to be an Imperial Fort right there, but it doesn't exist yet. I guess the landscape's gonna be really sparse in this era. All there's gonna be is alien uh, cities. Ha! Some action! Aliens! Let's loot these two poor fools. You know, alien antiquities, they bought it, they gotta be worth something in the future. Not that all I'm thinking about is my pocketbook, but you know, it wouldn't hurt. It's not gonna hurt anything. What were they doing? Looking for lunch, I suppose, or dinner? Alright, this seems like a good stopping point. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and farewell, dear viewers.